Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm trying to explain what is database migration trait and what's the difference between database migration and refresh database and transaction database trait. So as you have already used this trait or any other trait for, I don't know, thousand times in your tests, I will explain it very fast. So database migration is a trait that you can use it in your test to migrate the database. So it will create the tables inside the database and when the test is finished, it will actually drop all the tables. So let's run this test here to see how much time it takes if we use database migration trait. Let me first explain about the test. The test is doing very simple thing. We have uh, a user and we want to actually remove that user and it should return success. That's it. But for the sake of the performance for this test, I have tried to create a provider here. So to run this test 30 times to see how much time it takes to actually run all of these 30 uh, tests. So let's write. Mm -hmm. Migration. Sorry. Database migration. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, it's very slow. I mean, this test is doing really nothing, not that much, but it's slow. I think it takes about eight to nine seconds to run this. Yeah, exactly. Almost nine seconds to run all of this. And the reason is because database migration on every test, it will migrate the database and it will drop all the tables. So that takes a lot of time. Now let's go to the next test, which is using refresh database. So in refresh database is actually are very different from migration database. How it works, it actually wrap all the queries, the SQL queries that we have here in a transaction. And it will not actually execute the transaction, but it will roll back when the test is finished. So it's, it could, it's very fast and it runs very fast. So let's run it and see how much time it takes to uh, run this test. As you can see, I mean, it's super fast. It takes less than a second about 642 milliseconds to run all the tests and it's, it's the beauty of the refresh database now let's go to the database transaction test we have another trait and this trait is calling database transaction let me tell you what's the difference between refresh database and transaction at least one important thing in the in the refresh database it actually migrate the database so it migrate the tables create the tables into the database but in transaction it's not like that you should already created those table inside the database. So now if I run this uh, database uh, uh, transaction, it will run because we have already the tables. But if I remove the tables, sorry, if I remove the tables, yeah, exactly. So if you don't have the tables, it will actually throw an error and you should already have those uh, table created. Also, one more thing I want to mention is when you run the refresh, when you use refresh database trait, it will never drop all the tables at the final test. While in the migration uh, database, it will do it for you because on every test, it will migrate all the tables and then uh, drop all the tables. So, okay, we have already explained about what is the migration, what's the difference between refresh and the transaction and uh, which one is faster and so on. I, just let me run the transaction again to see the, the speed of it. So let me run uh, first database refresh. Okay, now we have the tables. And now let's run database transaction. As you can see, it's much more faster than the refresh database. It's actually half of that time. Uh, the refresh database takes about uh, 647, I think, millisecond, but this one is takes, takes about 369. So it's super fast, okay. So, but now I have one more problem. In most of the project that I'm working on it, we have some tables that we don't want to drop the table and because there are some data inside it. When we are running the test, I mean, let's say we will run three t 30 tests. We don't want to actually drop those table on every test, but we need to leave those tables and the data inside it as it is. 
for example like a lookup table or a metadata table we need those tables so for this I have a solution but before I explain how is my solution working let me tell you about this in PHP unit.xml there is a place that you can actually define a bootstrap file a bootstrap file is actually a file that when you run vendor being PHP unit it will get triggered by PHP unit and in that file you should actually do anything you want before running the test for example running a seeder I don't know migrating some data or anything like that but why I'm explaining this for you okay I'm explaining this for you because in the uh, in, in the I have created a way to actually migrate the database but in this migration we need actually to migrate the, the, the data before uh, getting into the test so because of that we actually create an autoload file and inside this autoload file I am calling the migrate fresh from where this autoload file get called is getting called from the PHP unit so test autoload.php I'm referring to this folder and this file so it will come here when we run the vendor being PHP unit and then it will call migrate fresh the migrate fresh will create the tables inside the database so now we have the tables the second step is this uh, so if we go to the database custom migration test as you can see we have the same test as we have already run it so in this we are extending custom test case now so we are not extending test case the test case is the test case class that has been created by Laravel. but now we have created uh, a custom test case and that custom test case which you can see it here it actually has a couple of methods one of the important method is tear down so in every tear down we truncating the tables we, we uh, clearing the information from the tables so on the next uh, test we will not have any track of the old test or previous test data so this way we will be sure that we are clean but there is a but except those tables which we don't want to truncate them for example we have a lookup table and in that lookup data lookup table I have a lot of information which I don't want to actually truncate or remove the data from that table so this way we actually uh, truncating all the data after tier, I mean in tier down and in the next test you have empty data empty tables I mean empty tables yes but except those which you don't want to actually remove remove the data from them so in here uh, if we run this for example let's run it data this custom migration test let's see how much time it takes yeah as you can see it takes uh, 1.734 milliseconds so around um, one uh, yeah uh, almost two seconds less, less uh, 300 uh, milliseconds less but uh, it takes some time uh, as you can see but this is a solution and it is a trade-off so if you want to have your data to be uh, actually share in all of your tests some data not all the data so you you can follow this uh, solution and you can have uh, basically uh, the test running as the way you like other than that you can actually use transaction or a refresh database but uh, yeah I just wanted to share with you how I actually run uh, some of the tests uh, and uh, how I build my solution and uh, in the in the next step or in the I will say in the next tutorial that I will I will create I will try to uh, explain more about how we can actually um, drop all the tables when all of the tests uh, actually finished so I'm not talking about every test I'm talking about the last test how we can figure out it is the last test and how we can drop all the tables for now um, I hope you like and enjoyed uh, uh, this tutorial and uh, I will see you in the next one